not ready government accepts some schools won't reopen next week. More concerns about infrastructure at Sangster International Airport. And detectives making progress in the case of a JDF soldier murdered in Denham Town. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News on air and online at onespotmedia.com and to our viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands. I'm Andrea Chisholm. And I'm Javon Keys. Also later on in this package, we'll have the business day and we'll have your gas prices as well as the latest financials from Fesco. And Jermaine Brown is here to tell us what's coming up in primetime sports. Thank you, Andrea. Well, here, here's what's up. Gold for Jamaica at the World Under-20 Championships a short while ago in the women's 100 meters. Alana Reed will show you how and tell you how she did it a bit later on. Of course, more in the big show later. Now, with a preview of what's to come in the weather report and forecast, here's Romaine Robinson. Thanks, Javon. Now, over the next couple of days across the island, we do have an increase in shower and thunderstorm activity that is likely, especially across sections of the south, but I'll break things down in the weather report and forecast. Thank you, Romaine. There's also sports commentary and E-Prime in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. And this evening we're asking, what improvements have you made to the physical structure of your house following the passage of Hurricane Burial? Share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and post on X at TVJ News Center. Please stay with us. Primetime News returns right after this break.